no bake peanut butter honey oatmeal bars slathered with dark chocolate guys can healthy get so delicious yes it can you'll see let's make this together we're going to start with one cup of peeled peanuts we're going to roast them on medium heat until they are nice and golden brown it should take approximately four to five minutes Looks good. We are going to transfer them to a grinder jar and let them cool down till we grind them into peanut butter. <laughs> and while the peanuts are cooling, we are going to dry roast one cup of oats. You can use rolled oats or instant oats. Roast them for four to five minutes until they turn golden brown and crisp. Now let that cool down and we are ready to grind our peanuts. Give the grinder jar a shake occasionally so that it's easier to grind. If you have a powerful grinder, you don't even have to add one tablespoon of oil. I'm adding it so that the peanut butter loosens up a little bit and then transforms into this beautiful smooth peanut butter like that. This peanut butter tastes so rich guys, it's so much better than the store bought ones. We are going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and we are going to add honey to taste. Keep in mind it's going to be mixed with a lot of oats so you can add a little more or less. <laughs> cannot wait to taste this ah yum okay before I finish it let's add in the oats a little bit at a time like half at a time you're gonna combine everything till it forms a sticky dough and you may have to knead it for like 30 seconds till it all comes together into a nice tight dough Next, we are going to spread the dough and it's easiest to do it on a silicone mat. If you have it, just press it down with a glass and it's easily going to spread. You can also use a greased plate or you can also use parchment paper. Using a knife, I'm giving it a decent square or rectangle shape and the thickness of this is approximately one centimeter. And next for the chocolate layer, we will use half a cup of dark chocolate. We will melt it in the microwave in 10 second increments. If you want, you can use a double boiler as well. Next, we are going to add in one tablespoon of any neutral cooking oil or you could use coconut oil if you wish. This will make the chocolate layer nice and glossy and it's going to flow smoothly when it's poured over the oatmeal layer. And without getting too crazy obsessive about how flat I can get this, I'm going to stick this into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes till the chocolate solidifies. Guys, imagine a rich peanut butter chocolatey taste with crisp bits of oats. <laughs> I'm thinking about all those dollars I spent buying oatmeal bars at the store that are not even half as good as these. Oh my goodness, guys, you should try it. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> and if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so the next video comes straight to you. I'm on all of these different social media sites, so do say hello. <laughs> For written recipes, visit my blog. All the links are in the description. Alright then, until next week. Bye-bye.